podcast. It's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and in front of me today, boom, pow, 2019-20 OPG Hockey Hobby Box. OPG rocks is the old fox. I've been collecting this stuff since the 70s, and yeah, nice cameo, dude. Thanks. That was wonderful. I've been collecting this stuff since the 1970s. Uh, I love it. No, it isn't about chasing. It isn't about hits. It's about the entire set. It's about fourth line players. It's about parallels. It's about Easter eggs. Configuration, 10 cards per pack, 18 packs per box, 180 cards, which is down from the usual 256 of recent years. I don't know if it matters that much, but the price has also come down as well. Base set, one through five, honey. High series would be 501 through 600. Fitty marquee rookies, 31 team checklist, 10 season highlights, and nine league leader cards. And within our box break, uh, one gold glossy parallel, six blue border parallels, two retro black borders, three OPG playing cards, four OPG caramels, which are those minis or tall boys. Uh, I could give you a sizing chart so that we could debate that. And uh, 30 of those high series cards aforementioned. There are some tougher pulls like the Stanley Cup final moments and inactions and retro high series cup captains. And of course, there are the patches which replace the autos and so on. I think there's a 100 card OPG patch lineup this year. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, rookie class, I will not even spend any time on because this stuff is will be broken by everyone and their sister Sandy. So it's nothing uh, unusual. Everybody is conditioned to understand and know this stuff. So there we see 18 packs this year, and it's very, very green. We got Johnny T on it. Uh, and the box is cardboardy like the cards. So this is it, guys. This is what we have. We have this, which I will dispose of, and I'll get cracking and crunching and rolling. And by the way, guys, OPG has been around since the early 30s. So it's been around a while. I have some cards from them from the 30s and 40s. So we have Tyler Toffoli. We have Marcus Johansson. We have Palmonville Lejoie. We have a Cody Eakin Retro, which goes back to seemingly 1984-85. Also looks like the 58-59s. Uh, we have our first blue border, Radko Gudis, uh, Matt Kachuk, Eberly, Seabrook, and Larkin. Tons of cards. Uncle Leo, Patton, Aho, Frolique, Pesci, Kevin Hayes, uh, Retro, as well as the Jake Allen Blue, Granlin, Ehlers, and Travis Dermott. Wilson, Simmons, Brown, Timo Meyer, Retro, Team Checklist, Devils, Teravainen, Spezza, and Robert Haig. Uh, we can also look to see if we have blank backs. I will sort out all the cards, uh, high series and all that within the recap, which is what I typically do. Anderson, Erickson, Radulov, LeBanc. So here is a Joe Thornton Caramel. Uh, I like to call these tall boys, although they're shorter than the tall boys, but they're, they really don't look like minis to me. Uh, cool looking card though. And there we have an Alexandre Texier. That's really cool to receive this cat here, the French cat, really nice. So it's a marquee rookie. Uh, retro of him. Here's a marquee rookie of Zach Seneshin, Johnny Hockey, and Eric Stahl. I'm going to try to roll through these as quickly as I possibly can at this point. Casey DeSmith, really nice looking cards. There's Bobby Lou, Sorelli, Lindholm, Johnny Hockey, Caramel, a Danny DeKaiser retro, Team Checklist. Campbell and Philip Grubauer, who will see a lot of action this year. That's a team I have high hopes for. They were one of the best power plays last year. Uh, they are a solid franchise. And I think they're the youngest team in the NHL as well. Ranton in, uh, sign, not sign, not sign. Charlie Coyle, Johnny Quick, best name ever for a goalie. And here we have our first playing card. And it's kind of cool. It's a, it's a seven of diamonds and it's pasta. I had pasta in my pool last year. He was so helpful when his finger wasn't busted. Uh, won the pool. Max Jones, uh, ooh, that's cool. Max Jones, Marky Rookie, Colin Miller, Verana, and Anthony Mantha. Mantha is another one who should be improving at this point. Max Patch, Timo Meyer, Smith, Petrangelo, TJ Brody, solid. Uh, Brendan Dillon, Retro, Matt Roy, Marky Rookie Blue, Bergeron, Brokowski, and Nolan Patrick. Joe Pavelski, 
Uh, Radko Gudis, Steen, Taylor Hall, and look at this, uh, Jonathan Taves caramel. I love Jonathan Taves and his three Stanley Cups and his amazing international performances. Cool looking card. Uh, Brian Boyle and a Ristolainen uh, blue. And then McAvoy or Bobby Ryan. Last year I opened up a box of this stuff and I received a Black Border hot box. Can you imagine? How cool is that? Uh, Ristolainen, Tuck, Gibson, Mark Stahl, uh, Jonathan Beldo, tall boy if you will, Zach Smith, uh, Retro, League Leaders of Kucherov, Lindell, and Goldobin. So as you can see, the League Leaders are high numbered cards, about 500. Ah, two of spades. Uh, Matt Calvert, Che Theodore, Delzato, Pearson, and a Jimmy Howard retro, as well as a two of spades, a Brady Kachuk. So he gets the two of spades, I guess that's because he's like, was a rookie. Uh, speaking of which, Colin White, Andy Green, Corey Crawford, and Kyle Lopozo. Hang on guys, Sveshnikov, Dry Seidel with his all-star emblem. Uh, man, has he been great in, in the pool. Holpe, uh, Vetrano, and here we have another Ristolainen, and this one would be the retro. Man, it's a Ristolainen hot box. Uh, we do have a Miko Rantanen, uh, Nine of Hearts, okay. DeMello, Fiala, and Dion Feneuf. Oh, there's our gold border. I believe we get one per box. There's Chara, there's Maroon, Nate Schmidt, Mike Smith. Uh, is he in the right uniform? No, he's in the wrong uniform. Dallas Stars. Uh, so this would be a retro Dallas Stars checklist above 500. And we hit the Nino Nino Rider. Nino Nino Rider. Uh, so this would be the gold. Aussie, I guess. Cole Sherwood, Marky Rookie, Victor Arvidsson, Trocek, and Jake Allen. Sealer, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Jake Vertanen, uh, Madison Bowie, Braden Point. This is really cool. I had Braden Point in my pool too last year. What a monster was he. A monster considering where I drafted him as well. Mathieu Joseph. And then we have a blue of Brian Johansson, Philip Forsberg, Sam, Sammy Reinhardt, and Derek Forberg. And we have Andrew Shaw, wrong uniform. Matt Nieto, Beauvillier, Pedersen, Max Patch, Retro, Vasilevsky, League Leader, Shifley, Connor Murphy, and Dylan Strom. Ugh, Chris Kreider, boo. Uh, Victor Rask, Reeves, Jordan Bennington. And then we have this really cool season highlights of Joe Thornton. So this is a retro, but it's also high numbered retro. And the Panarin black, uh, numbered to nine. So uh, did I get a black yet? Did I look at the numbering? They're always numbered to 100, these. Panarin, uh, Lindgren, Scandella, Vlasic, and Tyler Seguin. Just flying through these, really. Uh, Matt Niskanen, whose auto I have in the distance somewhere. Uh, Warren Fogel, uh, Goligoski, John Carlson. I also had my pool as a monster. Marty Jones and Mikael Botker. Retro. Bennington Blue. Nice. It's kind of redundant, but sure. Sajak, Silverberg, and Sidney Crosby with his all star. Bonafides. Last two packs. Oh, another black in here. Rupe Hintz, who I also picked up for a bit. Rupe is amazing, a uh, hockey player. Did well in the playoffs. Uh, Louis Erickson, Jake Gunsel, speaking of playoffs. Milan Lucic and Pavel Gusnevich. Uh, yeah, another interesting cat. Oh, there's Patrick Laine. So you see the Patrick Laine black. Uh, numbered to 100, number 23 of 100. Um, he was so inconsistent last year. Joe Thornton season highlights, sort of interesting color on these, this sort of violet color. 1,500 NHL contests, that's pretty impressive actually. Uh, what is he, eighth overall in uh, assists in the history of the game? Uh, Nishkinen, Keller, and Kyle Connor. Last pack, guys, last pack, last pack. Uh, Oli Mata, Corey Perry, Bjorkstrand, uh, Brock Nelson, uh, Alexander Edler. And we have a Mike Hoffman retro, and then a Tyler Toffoli retro, and it's a blank back. Huh. It's funny that I turned it around expecting that. Uh, cool. I was wondering why there are two of them back to back. 
So we received a blank back. Uh, kind of nice. Nice to receive that. A Texier, that's really good too to re receive Alexandre Texier. He's a pretty darn good hockey player. John Tavares and Brad Chen. So we did receive something cool. That's awesome. A blank back. Okay, guys, time for the recap. So uh, I will be giving this box away. Just hashtag Texier and this box will be yours. With our base, we did receive two chunks of the funky, funky stuff. Uh, here we go, about 130 cards, which would amount to about 26% of the base. There you go. Uh, we did receive our high numbered series cards, uh, a whole slew of those. I think those plus the retros should amount to about 30 cards. And you can see our marquee rookie, Sherwood, Max Jones, uh, Senishin, uh, Tixier, and Colin White. We have Team Checklist, we have some season highlights, Joe Thornton, uh, Vasilevsky, and Kucherov in terms of league leaders. So these would all be high numbered uh, cards that we should add to the mix. We did receive our retros, which I believe are from 8045 uh, slash 5859. They're not like sort of strictly speaking duplicates of old school cards, which I find a bit frustrating. I wish they would actually mimic the old school uh, design exactly. Uh, there's Joseph Quick, Dylan Boyle, I mean, etc., 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 including a couple of high numbered series cards. Uh, the Texier Recru, a rookie, the season highlights of Joe Thornton, 1,500 games, and the team checklist of the stars. So these here would amount to our uh, retros. We were supposed to get six of the blue borders, and we in fact received six. Gudis, Allen, Johansson, Bennington, Ristolainen, Metroy, Recru, so that's another one of the rookies. So you can get rookies in so many forms and fashions. Uh, I'll fan those frisbees down there. So we're supposed to receive four of the caramels. We received five. And what confuses me about the caramels is in the blasters there are actually caramel colored cards, yet these are caramels and those are caramels. And plus they call these minis, yet minis are smaller. Uh, these theoretically are tall boys, but they're too short to be the 1964 tall boys. So you have to go through your sizing chart to get it. But anyways, Braden Point, Johnny Hockey, Taves, Joe Thornton, and Jonathan Ibeldo would be our caramels or tall boys or minis, whatever the nomenclature you like. We're supposed to get three playing cards. We received three playing cards. Uh, here we go. We have this Brady Kachuk. We have this Mika Rantanen as well as Pasta. Uh, so I'll fan these fuckers up there. We're supposed to receive one gold glossy. We received the Nino Nita Rider gold glossy. So one and done. There it is. And we're supposed to receive two of the Black Order Retros. Here they are. There's a bread man and line A number to 100 as promised. So I'll stash these puppies back here. And then finally, we received this, which was our little present within the box. We received a blank pack, a Tyler Toffoli a Retro. Uh, maybe that's the only way they deliver these, but it's kind of cool to receive nonetheless. And I will place this blank pack right over here. So that's it guys, uh, interesting, always fun, always. Uh, the box is perfect for kids to get their hands dirty. It's 180 OPG cards, uh, as promised. Uh, I will give it away, so just hashtag TXTA, be sure to sub and like. Phone cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Didn't I give you everything?